What's going on guys, it's Hi, and I previously made a video showing how to remove water spots from glass by polishing. No doubt this approach works and is almost surefire, but depending on the condition of the water spots, how baked on they are, and how much glass you have to polish, the entire process can take hours to complete. Well, I've been experimenting and have found some products that are extremely effective in removing water spots from glass. These products are the offerings from Barkeeper's Friend. This company makes many different variations of this product, but I personally only have experience with More and Soft Cleanser. More is a more watery substance that sprays out as a foam, whereas Soft Cleanser, although still a liquid, is just thicker. In terms of consistency, the closest thing that I can compare Soft Cleanser to is Ranch Dressing. For this demonstration, I'll be applying Barkeeper's Friend on a car with some pretty noticeable water spots. These spots have been baked on for months and months and have multiple layers of mineral buildup after all the car washing that this car has seen. From my experience, none of the home remedy solutions will be able to take away these water spots. To remove these spots, I'll either have to polish the glass or do what I'm about to show you. To more easily make out the effectiveness of this product, I'm going to tape up a box on the glass and remove the water spots inside of it. For this part, I'll be using more, but the process is going to realistically be identical for Soft Cleanser. Essentially, all we do is apply the product onto the glass or onto an applicator, then onto the glass and just scrub it in. Now, it is extremely important that you do not let this stuff stay on the glass for too long. The directions specifically say not for more than one minute. It really depends on the atmospheric conditions, but you just don't want this stuff to dry on any surfaces. Barkeeper's Friend is essentially an acid, and it removes the water spot by eating away the minerals that causes water spots. However, if left on for too long, Barkeeper's Friend can etch the glass, and you're going to be worse off than just having water spots. But don't worry, this sounds a lot scarier than it is. All you have to do is use something to neutralize the product. This can be as simple as just spraying the surface down with some water, or you can wash it with some soap and water, or even a waterless wash. In short, just use some sort of liquid. In saying that though, keep in mind how water spots occur. In general, there are minerals in water. If you don't properly dry a surface after getting it wet, as the water air dries, the water may disappear but the minerals are left behind and those minerals are the cause of water spots. So if you get rid of the water spots with Barkeeper's Friend, but you rinse with tap water and don't properly dry, you're just going to introduce new water spots and this is all going to be a futile effort. If you're doing this, make sure to properly towel dry or use a car dryer like I'm doing in this video. If you're interested in any of the products shown or discussed in this video, check out the description below where I've linked everything. Let's look at the results. As you can see, most of the water spots are gone after one application. I don't know if you can see it through the video, but on my end, I can see some faint water spot edges. That can be so on the most stubborn water spots, but no problem. I can just do another application and that's what I would suggest for you guys to do. If you're worried about Barkeeper's Friend possibly doing some damage, just play it safe and leave it on for noticeably less than a minute. Say 30 seconds. So you may have to do a few more applications, but this is definitely one of those better safe than sorry situations. At the end of the day, more applications of this process is still likely going to save you a lot more time than some of the alternatives, so no big deal. Again, I only have experience with more and soft cleanser, both of which you can see me use in this video. However, from my experience, one clearly outperforms the other. If you are purely looking to remove water spots from glass and not some of the other materials that these products are recommended for, Soft Cleanser is the way to go. Between the two products, there are some minor differences in the ingredients, and that seems to make Soft Cleanser much more effective at removing water spots. Don't get me wrong, more definitely works, but where Soft Cleanser only requires one application, it may take more two or three applications to get the same effect. Just keep that in mind. Either way, using Barkeeper's Friend is just so much more faster and more effective than any other water spot removal methods that I've tried. But because there's some chance that this product can cause damage to your car, I can't say outright for you to just follow my lead. Do your own research and decide if you want to give these products a try. I'll just finish off by saying this. I personally have used these products to clean the glass of my Supra. This is my baby and I'm willing to use Barkeeper's Friend on it. That shows the confidence and trust that I have for these products. 
I will personally continue to use them when water spots develop on the glass of my cars and I probably will never try anything else again. Barkeeper's Friend is just that good to me. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up and share it around. Comment down below with any thoughts or questions you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. And if you want to further support my work, consider hitting the join button down below to become a YouTube member or become a patron on Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.